Hey everybody and welcome back to Battlefield 1 where I'm going to be giving some pro tips, whatever, um, about playing the meta class. The meta class uses a bold action um, with the, uh, with the, um, Sai Rigote uh, being an automatic along with the uh, autoloader, what are these, wait no it's the, um, the, the M1907 sweeper being an automatic, other than that they're all semi-automatic rifles which is, um, Kind of cool. We have um, I like to play kind of... So, I, for this tips here, I like to... One of my favorite guns to play. So, if it's you're looking at a map with a lot of close range and you're weaving in and out of uh, corridors, the trench gun, the uh, the Sai Rigotai um, trench gun is really good because it has really good hip fire. It's also full auto. And it does pretty good damage. So, and it's also a good hip fire. Uh, if you're going for a little bit something medium range, I do like the... Uh, Seba Stolar, uh, the M1916 Marksman, which is also pretty good, along with the, um, you know, along with the magnification of 2.5 and, uh, and all that stuff. Also, for a little bit medium, I also like the Storm, um, the Mondragon Storm, which is pretty good. It's good because it has a good fallout for the damage and a good rate of fire. Uh, and then in for, for medium to long, I do like the, um, the Moto Dragon Sniper, as it has like a bipod and all that stuff. Uh, of course, I do have the four times scope and the optics. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the barrel. Uh, in terms of gadgets, I actually use the medic crate and the rifle oh, grenade high impact and um, heavy, heavy explosives. It's, I, I really like it. It's, it's a good universal stuff. I don't do medical syringes. It's, it's, it's this, you, you're kind of like, Unless you're like really good, most of the times you're just gonna be wandering around like, oh, I'm just gonna medicate this guy, and then that guy's just gonna die, or you're gonna die trying to revive him. Um, and also, this time around, revives don't mean anything except giving yourself points. We if you're looking for a lot of points, you should go do that. I should probably get going. And then lastly, I really enjoy the incinder uh, incendiary grenade. It's good for burning and keeping uh, places going. So let's uh, let's get going here. Uh, we're in the um, Montagapa. Um, Mokropa map, so I'm gonna go with a little bit of a, a, little, a little bit of a medium to long range. I'm gonna spawn on this guy, and then just deploy out. Return to the combat area. Whoa, shit! Okay, and there we go. So even with the bipod, you kind of get some, you get this action. It's pretty good. Um, pretty good, like. Sway. And also, since it's the hip fire is like really fucking close, you can just like pow, 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 pow. So, what I like to do is just like, you know, throw a med crit out and then, at, like, at a place around here, and so I can just fall back and retreat. Yeah, I can just go like that. There we go. Spamming a couple of those would be good. Let's throw another one down here. Looks like this place is clear. There we go. Here we're cabin. We got it good. So this time around, the medic has like 10 rounds, unless you have the, uh, the Salah, the, oh, Jesus Christ, can we just fucking, the, um, the, there's one gun that has 26 rounds, which is actually kind of cool. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll, we'll go down to C here. And of course, if you do have the medical syringes, there is a, uh, there is like triage to show you. Oh, here, here, here we got somebody. We got some hostiles up here. We have taken objective apples. Right. Got one round here, we'll just reload. Ooh, hello. Throw down a med kit and get down the prone. Okay, we're looking good here. Up the hill. Let's throw one right down here. And there we go. 
And of course, like nobody's gonna. This is another thing that really hate. I really don't like is nobody's gonna revive you. So why am I just sitting there? Just like, <laughs> I really wish if it was like an auto, like just skip. It's just, just throw me back into the game. Let's see if we can get some people here. I don't like this fucking point, dude. Let's see, you have to be right on the fucking point. Always throw out med kits when you're like, you know, in a nice good cover area. Let's see here. The bipod is like better than before now. So we can see some people there. There we go. And since there's like no bullet drop anymore. There we go. There's just no more bullet drops, so you can just snipe people without, you know, any anything. You really are just like a sniper that can heal himself. Okay, we got E. We have taken objective Edward. So we got somebody here. Always make sure to sound, uh, make sure to hear voices around, so that you might hear people. Um, we have lost objective Duff. You know, try to learn what your team's speaking, and if you hear, because usually the other team just like shouts all the time, pretty much giving their position away. So okay, that's all clear. <coughs> Coming over to our cold. I do like to like, like to have like a, I'm going strafing a little bit here, just to get a nice like field of view here of where where everybody is, and maintaining the. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, here he is. We have taken objective charge. Go, go. We have taken objective dump. There we go. So you always be wary of where you're where you're hearing voices and all that stuff. You can easily get some free kills because people's situational awareness is so low. Uh, also on the mini map too, if you if their icon is kind of hollow, it means they're below or above you. So on this map, there's a second, a third entrance to see right here. If you didn't know, Let's see, we already have C. Drop some uh, health down here. There we go. And I got sniped by a sniper because that's super fucking easy. Because the super, there's no bullet drop or anything. But I hope those tips helped you with being a pro medic. Um, you know, it's it it's a lot easier just to be a medic. You are always you you should always be a medic. Um, healing your teammates is a lot more. It's easier. You never really run out of ammo. And uh, if you do run out of ammo, you can always just uh, run into battle and get yourself killed because, you know, no fucking uh, support is ever going to drop ammo for you, even if you spam Q or, uh, you know, that notification. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Kaboosh967. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.